G'day guys, uh, welcome to the first edition of Working at Home with James and Tom. As you can see, Tom and I are dressed in our working from home uniform. Nice and casual. Yeah, got our nice sloppy uh, PJ bottoms and tracky bottoms. Uh, so in this, um, over the next few weeks, we want to just uh, put together a series of uh, what we hope will be um, short but useful and helpful videos uh, because I know a lot of people are uh, either um, working from home or working in a different environment to what they're used to. Uh, so we just wanted to share some tips and tricks around how to get things set up properly uh, so you're less likely to uh, cause trouble with your body um, and also uh, some simple movement based exercises that you can do uh, to help keep things moving and flexible. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, so the ultimate in this working from home day and age would be if you had a, uh, a sit-stand set up uh, ready to go, similar to what we've had here at practice for many years. So um, this is a very desk, desktop sit-stand desk. Uh, basically pull it out of the box, you sit it on top of your counter. So this would work really well on you know, the old kitchen table uh, or dining table. Uh, and then from there it's got handle that you can use to lift and raise. Uh, and turns it straight away into a standing workstation uh, so you can adjust it to the right height so you've got your keyboard where you need it to be um, and the screen would sit here. Normally we've got ours wall mounted but that raises and lowers along with the keyboard so you're always getting that correct distance from the screen etc. Uh, you couple that with one of these guys, uh, the old leaning stool. This one's from, uh, from uh, Officeworks but you can pick up um, some even more budget versions from Ikea for about 50 bucks, I think. Um, and the idea of those is that you can adjust the height of that. So you can always find that nice, relaxed, upright position. So if I go up a little bit higher, I'm not gonna sit on this part. I'm gonna come forward a little bit until my posture's nice and relaxed and I'm able to just keep going. Again, just back down a little bit. And there we go, we've got our angles for our arms and shoulders um, and our posture nice and upright. Everything's looking hunky dory. So that's our ideal scenario um, would be to have something like this. You can get versions of this at, uh, at Officeworks if you're lucky enough. There's not many on the shelves these days. Um, you might be able to order some online, but if you've got the, uh, the time and uh, the ability to get hold of one of these, that's our best recommendation to start with. Okay, on to number two. Okay, so the next best option would be to commandeer one of your uh, kitchen worktop spaces. Um, kitchen worktops tend to be just that little bit higher uh, than say your dining room table. Um, so they're pretty much equipped to be chopping and cutting um, at a nice comfortable height. So they're actually pretty good um, for using as a, as a workstation straight off the bat. So you know, if you're standing, you can pretty much just plonk your laptop straight on them. Uh, just make sure you're opening your screen out to an angle where you're not having to drop your head too far. Um, Tom and I uh, use uh, these cabinets as our workstation in the adjusting area. Everyone would have seen that by now. Um, and we've got a great little setup going with some, uh, some keypads. Um, and our iPad on a, uh, on a, on a mount, which um, we tend to find works really well. So just making sure that whatever you're working at is at about that nice waist height level, and generally um, you know, your kitchen worktops are gonna be a, a pretty good place to start with that as well. Um, option number three, if you don't have access to a work, uh, site, a work height that's around that waist height and you are having to you know, lean over the kitchen table or something similar, um, you can pick up one of these great little laptop stands for I think they're about 60, 70, maybe 80 bucks. Uh, we picked up these ones a few years ago at Officeworks when we were traveling. Um, and they've just got little concertina legs. They've got this nice, neat little platform. Uh, and then you just basically plonk your laptop in there uh, and then uh, you can have it opened up. So you've got your screen at a not perfect, but reasonable height and you're gonna be able to type away. Um, there's usually room on the side here for a mouse and so on if you need to. And you can play with the angles, um, these little buttons here. Let's see if I can do this without mucking it up. They just click and lock into place at various angles. So you can play around with the height and the angle until you get it right. But again, just looking for that nice relaxed shape through the arms, nice upright posture, not having to drop your head too much to get down to look at the screen. Another good option. So, and if you are working off a tablet device, there's a bunch of good options out there that can really help to make um, these much more um, uh, user-friendly uh, and much more versatile as well. So, Tom and I are big fans of these little bad boys. Um, we've been using these for the last year or so. These are Logitech Bluetooth uh, keyboards. Uh, they will sync with um, all um, Android and Apple devices. Uh, the great thing about it as well is that it has three channels, so you can actually have um, up to three devices paired 
with this particular keyboard. So if you want to be typing one minute on your iPad and then you want to flick off a quick text on your phone, um, you just switch it to a different channel and you can be typing away on that as well. So that's a really good option. Um, we use uh, these stands. These are by a company called Proper. Um, basically they work on a universal little locking docking system so they just pretty much click into place like that um, we have wall mounts in the office when we take posture photos there's all kinds of different height stands that you can get but this little guy here i think cost about again about 30 40 bucks at office works um, failing that you can pick up little things like this off ebay my mum sent this to me for our boys when they're uh, using their ipad at home she found it on ebay um, and basically it's just a nice neat little adjustable uh, iPad stand, you just got to get your center of gravity right, and again there, that's going to hold your screen in a uh, in a nice position. Or you know, the good old fashioned cookbook holder. This was my go-to before we had this guy. Uh, so if I'm in the kitchen and I need a recipe, or if I'm just uh, you know typing something quick, it's just going to hold the iPad there for me, nice and stationary at a good angle. So again, I'm not having to crane my neck to look down too much. And so for those of you who don't have access to any of that stuff we've just described, um, and you are stuck at the old kitchen dining table with the old kitchen dining chair. Um, there are still things that you can do to lessen the impact of that setup on your posture. So today we're using our adjusting table as the good old kitchen table. Uh, Tom's our volunteer here. So just wanted to show the angle of the seat and how this is affecting Tom's posture. So he's just sitting there nice and relaxed. Breathe in, breathe out, let your body slump. And you see that big fold coming across his chest. So we're going to see if we can make some adjustments to get rid of that. So we're going to try him first of all on our little thin wedge. Again, the, the amount of angle change that you're going to need and the amount of height variation is going to vary depending on what you're sitting on, so you need to play around with this a little bit better, but that looks a bit better to me, Tom. How's that feeling? It's better. Cool. All right. We're going to go to our regular size wedge, see what that does. A bit better again. Let's add a little bit of height to it. Just using some towels. Pretty good. So what we're looking for is that posture to just becoming more and more upright with less and less effort the closer we get to the ideal height and angle there. Now, if you don't have a wedge at home, um, what you can do is you can use some towels to create one. So all we have here is just a regular bath sheet folded in half and then folded in half again. If we just put a few more folds into that and we sit Tom down again and we get him to go back into his relaxed slump there. You know, even just by sticking this thing under your backside, just in the angle of the seat, it's going to lessen the impact, okay? And then you could sit that, that wedge on top of some other folded towels and you could achieve a very, very similar result. Okay, so, and worst case scenario, if you're stuck on a couch or an armchair, there's a couple of differences in these types of seats that you really need to be aware of. First of all is the depth, okay? They're so deep that if you sit right back in the seat, it's going to have an immediate impact on your posture because of the the um, the, uh, the way it lifts the legs and affects the knees. So I'm just going to sit right back there and see how he's having to open up his hips hips so he can reach the backrest. So Tom just fully lets go, lets his body. So you can see him folding right in the middle there. So it's almost craning the spine around like this. So what we want to do is get creative with our throw cushions. All right. So grab some cushions, Tom. Just going to chuck some in there. Um, we're going to create a bit of narrowing of that depth. Okay, and not great, but it's better, at least it's got him that little bit more upright. Now, the other problem that we have with a lot of soft furnishings is just that they're really soft. So you sink into the cushion, and as you sink into the cushion, your pelvis is gonna to tend to tilt backwards. So again, you can use just a thin cushion or just muck around with different combinations uh, to just help to try and lift you up out of that sinking position um, and get your back sorry, away from the, uh, the backrest. Um, so you're a bit more upright and a bit better supported in that position, okay? But again, this is a worst case scenario. We don't want you to be sitting here for you know, an eight hour work day, um, working from your lap with this sort of setup because you're only gonna create yourself uh, a whole bunch of problems.